Howdy! In preparation for the Bevy Game Jam, I thought it would be nice to make a video about another week-long jam I did with Bevy a while back. In June, my fiancé sister and me participated in the Rusty Jam 2. The goal of the jam was to make and publish a game using only Rust in one week. The theme was this cursed dog chicken image, and after a few hours of brainstorming with all three of us, we decided on a twin-stick shooter of dogs vs chickens, with some weird League of Legends inspirations. The idea was still rough, and I wish we had recorded the brainstorming, but the core idea was we wanted you to snowball by gathering tons of minions, and then you'd overwhelm the enemy base. And with that in mind, we jumped on into the code. So one week later, what we ended up with is Fight for the Frontier. I think the game is pretty good for the time period and the tools. The core gameplay is you stand over a base to capture it and convert it into a chicken coop to spawn chickens. Chicks will then join you and help you capture more bases and defeat the enemy minions. On the other side of the map, there is a dog who's doing the exact same thing as you, and when you meet him or his puppies, you can use the arrow keys to shoot eggs at him while dodging his bones. You win the game by capturing all of the bases. Madeline did all of the art, and I think it looks really good, and we got it all animating. The game uses hair on physics for the map, enemy, and bullet collisions, and I was very impressed with how well it worked right out of the box. AI is a straightforward priority system with some line of sight calculations to keep everything flowing right. The enemies try to target capturing bases and attacking players or minions that they see. Overall, I think the gameplay is exactly what we were going for, but I wish we had more time to polish. I would have loved to add sound effects, some juice like a camera shake on damage, and some particle effects. I would say that Abby and me both put in about 25 to 30 hours on the code, and Madeline put in about 15 into the art, but we didn't keep track of time. While we were doing the project, I learned a couple of new tools that I'm excited to bring forward into future projects. The big one is Hair on Physics. I had been meaning to try it out so I could make a tutorial on it, and I think I really like it for simple Game Jam style games. It worked really well, and it's going to be the topic of a future tutorial. I also had to make a standalone map editor so we could lay out and change the collisions of the map to match our AI and background art. The editor is a horrific dev tool, but it's up with the source code for the game. The main idea was to write a RON file, which contains the spawner locations, wall hitboxes, and the player spawns. I learned how to make a custom bevy asset loader to load the map in as a proper asset, but I think this might have been a bit overkill for a simple plain text file. This did, however, make the map asset work with the bevy asset loading plugin we used. We also used the bevy tweening library to create a nice wind cutscene for the camera, and I'm excited to try out more of its functionality as time goes on. Finally, I got controller support working in bevy, but I left in some goofy bugs, just because I thought they were fun and harmless. Specifically, if you used both a controller and a keyboard, then you'd move twice as fast. I don't think this ended up mattering, though, because it didn't work in browser for the final game. The biggest issue we ran into is the night before publishing, when we tried our web build and discovered that Kayak can't render text in the browser, and it's a problem upstream in WGPU. We worked around this by just baking the text in images, but they don't look great in their final form. But I guess it worked for a game jam. We also had problems with Heron not generating collision stop events when we despawned the bullets. We found a collisions component and some deprecated systems in Heron, and we moved those into our code though. I don't know why they were removed from Heron, but this was much easier to work with, and we used it for almost all of our collision handling. Finally, we've had one bug report after the game jam, and I think it's caused by people zooming in Firefox or Chrome, and that's interacting weird with the fixed resolution, and using Bevy with resizable set to false but I haven't really explored it yet. It might also have something to do with smaller screen sizes. Overall, I'm very happy with how the game turned out, and the game jam was a lot of fun. It's nice to have a real game published on Itch using Bevy, and I'm excited to participate in more jams like this in the future, including the Bevy Jam 2, which is starting the same day this video releases. The game and its source code are linked in the description if you want to check them out. And to wrap things up, I want to give a huge thank you to my Patreons. I really appreciate all of the support, and it's really nice to have the ability to work on things like this. As always, please remember to like and subscribe, and thank you for watching.